I'm Martin Frost, I'm here at uh, Buffet Crampon uh, factory to try some new clarinets for me. I think it's gonna be great. Oh, this feels very easy for me. Okay. Easy yes. choice, nice, okay. great. Okay. I would like to try them more, I'm very interested in doing that research. Okay. I started to play clarinet, actually I started to play the violin when I was five. I think I discovered the clarinet through the Mozart concerto because my father came with a with a, a recording with the Saint Martin Academy of Saint Martin in the Fields and Jack Primer, and I was um, mesmerized by the music from then on. From the age of 15, I was in the, the, the Academy in Stockholm, and then I moved to Germany when I was 18 and started with Hans Deinzer which was a really important period in my life. I came back to Stockholm to do my diploma and uh, then I was 23. And uh, then I did some competition, or I did uh, at least one that meant something to me. It was Geneva competition. And uh, then I tried to play and it's, it's going very well actually. <laughs> I won the Nordic Biennale and it was then I was only a teenager and that, I was lucky with the, with the prize in Geneva because it meant also that I was I was uh, having a, a Japanese prize called Nippon Music Award which also and also Axon Nobel I got in the same time so I was three times in the same place awarded and it gave me a very good debut with nice orchestras like the Philharmonia and Rotterdam Philharmonic and so that that was a good start for me I think it's fantastic if I get this one. What was the number? 30? But for the upcoming five years I have plans and it's quite much of the profile thinking again, you know, doing interesting repertoire with new, uh, a little bit new approach to, to classical stuff. <laughs> tried out now Divine, which I found a very good A clarinet and uh, uh, quite fun B clarinet as well, so that is also a great feeling. So I will play on them uh, for a while and see how it goes. That is a, a sound where you can really lean on, you can trust it and you can push air on it and, and, and you can feel that it's keeping together. The sound is really stay round and big it doesn't spread out all over the place so i'm really curious about this instrument so i will play for it <laughs> talk about it like a, a main thing in the classical business that we are so trained we are so focused to be trained in a certain way of playing the instrument that in the end we don't know how to use all the the air to, to create different colors or, or different phrasing and how to use the air and how to use the the colors in the sound and I think the, 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 the moment when you meet a musician that could really use their own personality to feel free in making colors, making music, and making different things, uh, and and sort of break through all these trained perfectionism and everything. That is the moment of magic, I think, when when you feel this. This is a, this is a magician on the instrument. This is I don't know how he or she does it, but I'm totally mesmerized by it. And that's I think that's the human voice you hear then coming through the instrument and coming through what we what we believe. I think that's the most important for, for any musicians and especially for classical music. <laughs> 